it's Amy. I'm back with another video. Like I said in my Q and A, previous Q and A, I have a huge unboxing, and this box, this purchase is heavier than me. I swear, it's so heavy. I'm so excited to do this unboxing. So let me figure out how I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take this out. Oh, good thing there's this ribbon. My goodness, look at this. It's huge. Okay. Here's the shopping bag. It's super wide. I literally feel like this box, this one right here, is like a huge table. So let's put that down in the background. Very nice. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Look at this huge box. This huge magnetic box. It's heavy just holding it. And trust me, the item is. A lot smaller than this box, but I guess it is big enough to sort of fit in this screen. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oops. I'm gonna tilt you guys a little bit. So, like most of you know, I have been lusting for one of the Chanel bags that I've been telling you about. If you've watched my vlog, I think 50, the one that I went to Whistler on that very same day, I was making so many calls to a lot of Chanel stores just to track down this bag. Only two cities in Canada ordered this particular one, which is the one that I was looking for. Um, so if you watch that vlog, you probably know which bag it is. If you don't, then keep on watching and you'll see. So let's get through this unboxing, shall we? So the bow fell down. And I don't know why it's like upside down, but here we go. Which side is the magnetic opening? Oh my gosh. Where is it? I know it's a. Oh, there you go. On this side. And here you go. I'm gonna just open it all the way. Okay, are you ready? By the way, I have seen this bag in store. I, I haven't tried it on. Well, I, I I mean, I tried it on with the little with the handle, but not on the shoulder. And so because everything was still wrapped up and I didn't want to disrupt that and I wanted to do that live. So. You ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. It's my Deauville. Look at this. Isn't it nice? I'm so excited. Okay, here. So there's a huge dust bag, which I will put aside and use later. So here's my bag. Okay, let's take a look at it. And I'm gonna put all of this back inside. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put all the air paper inside sorry for all the shuffling and ruffling oh, okay. so here's my brand new Chanel bag the Deauville tote this is the large size okay the sizing is so weird honestly they call three different sizes large in their system which is completely misleading this one is actually large greater than 30 centimeters that's the description which is anyway i will try to include all the dimensions in the description so that you guys know exactly which one i'm talking about but this is essentially the large size there is an extra large size which is super huge i have never even seen it and then there is a medium size which doesn't come with these top handles but it does have the chain handles and on the chain handles there is also a leather strip so it's super comfortable but i wanted this one after watching so many people's videos um and i've been asking quite a few of the my favorite youtubers who answered all my questions and i'm so thankful that i have them you guys know who you are so so glad and i know one of my friends here also bought a Deauville she hasn't as of today, she hasn't um, revealed it yet, so you know who you are, congrats girl! And I cannot wait to see yours as well. But I've been eyeing this particular combination in particular because I wanted the 
it's already getting it's already getting heavy as I'm holding it but I wanted the lightest possible version because bags tend to be heavy for me in general so hence the reason why I use small bags long story short I'm either a small bag person or a large bag person in my opinion and yes I only have a Neverfull and a Longchamp tote this will be my third tote I just love how cool this tote is and honestly three totes in total is more than enough uh, I plan to use this as a tote, everyday tote. Uh, I don't carry totes all the time. I either just use very small bags or very large bags. And when I need a large bag, I will just go for a large bag. I don't really need medium bags in general. Also, here's my proof of purchase. And let me see, I haven't seen the authenticity card yet. Just want to make sure there is one, yay. So here's my authenticity card and my proof of purchase, which I will put away. So all the hardware is still intact on it. It has, so let me just take a moment and look at everything. It has the clear stickers on the silver hardware. I love that. It has the clear sticker in the back on the silver hardware as well as the blue stickers on the straps and the leather is really nice. It's blue. Oh, the print is so nice. I love it. I love the orange, the pop of orange. Okay, so I'm gonna remove these papers while I'm gonna, I guess, let you know what's my thought process and why I bought this bag. So I've been lusting about a Deauville for, it hasn't been like super long. I'm, the first person that I saw this bag with that I really fell in love with is Chriselle Lim. So if you guys are into fashion bloggers, She's also a YouTuber as well, but if you guys are into fashion, you would know who she is. So here's like, it has the blue sticker on. She's really pretty and so stylish. And she had uh, on Instagram this bag on and she had also bought it brand new. I think it was just last year she bought it. And so ever since I saw it on her, I was like, wow, this is a beautiful bag. And you know, I wasn't quite, I wasn't like, oh, I must get it because, I mean, like most people think it's just a canvas or like a fabric bag for a lot of money. So is it really worth it? It was kind of like, I knew I liked it from seeing it on her, but um, I wasn't ready to like, you know, look for it or buy it or anything. But then I started noticing a lot of people actually do have it and a lot of people recommend it among, among um, so among the ones that I've spoken to, I was basically just waiting for the Deauville to come back to be in season. Uh, they didn't have it in cruise 2017. So um, they finally decided to launch it for spring. Like most Chanel items, it is very hard to know exactly what combinations of colors or fabric or design they will be out in any particular season, but they do sort of post it on their website once, I guess, you know, once a new season is ready to launch or about ready to launch. Um, uh, they do post it on their website, at least photos. Not all the prices are always available, but like at least photos. And then, so of course I saw the Raffia one online and I also saw uh, the denim, the canvas ones with the sequins. Um, I wasn't, I like the color combination on the raffia, the gray and the black. That was really nice. But I, of course, had the chance to run into Chanel and just hold a raffia one. I just felt like it was really heavy. Like this is not light by any means, but the raffia just felt so heavy. Um, and then uh, I had the chance to look at one of the sequins one. The sequins is really pretty. I like it. I'm just not a fan of having the chance of maybe scratching the sequins or maybe like pulling the sequins. I know they're really well made, but I just didn't want that chance. And I knew from seeing all the pictures online on the spring collection that 
something like this was available they did have a picture of the extra large size in the exact same combination and um so i was you know i started hunting i started calling places i even reached out to a personal shopper in france and asked them if they made them in this size and how much she would charge and of course she was very nice she quoted me and everything and of course they had stock before we did in canada i think we were one of the like latest people latest countries to get anything um so it was you know i was very tempted but i i really wanted to get one at that point i was like super obsessed because i knew it existed um i just didn't know when they would come to canada and whether they would be available and so my search continues and by the way i didn't i didn't go with the personal shopper only because they do charge a lot because they have to charge for shipping and of course you know they have to pay for the bag and it, insure and everything so it just didn't make sense for me especially once i get it here i still have to pay extra tax and duties and taxes and duties in canada is just too crazy basically i didn't want to risk having to pay so much for a bag that i know i can potentially get it here uh, but i mean i didn't know for sure but so my search continued and i started calling all the boutiques in canada and um long story short i did a lot of research um, long story short, I found out at the end that only two cities in Canada carried this exact combination. Only Toronto and Calgary ordered it. And Calgary, each time I, I mean, Toronto, each time I called them, they had just sold it or something like that. And so I have to keep on calling them back to see if they would have a new one. And if they did, then I would have to try to beg them to like transfer one over or if they could do a charge send, which means I pay for it now and you know have them ship over to the Vancouver store for me to pick up, something like that. And so that didn't happen. Um, I guess in Toronto, it was an easy sell. <laughs> so there was really no need for them to transfer any of their bags to Vancouver because they can sell them themselves. So my only other option was Calgary. And I was so happy and so lucky hello Yvonne if you're watching uh, that I um, I didn't meet an essay but I felt like I, I met her through the phone uh, basically when I called back Calgary the I don't even remember which time it was that I called back that I got her on the phone and uh, explained to her that Vancouver didn't order this combination so I was really really like hoping that they would have one and of course they have this combination they have ordered this bag they didn't have it at the time but i called in so early that she was able to take my name down and everything and then she said that she would let me know if anyone comes in but they do have a list of clients who also asked for it so she wasn't quite sure whether i would get it for sure but she said my chances are pretty high since i called so early on and i started my research so early on so i kept in touch with her and then eventually they got one and it was my turn <laughs> apparently got the last one that they will ever get in calgary so super happy about that super lucky about that and just feels super exclusive i mean this is not going to be an easy bag for me to hold because it is quite weighty as it is i have to weigh it i have to weigh it it's like heavy but i don't know I love it. The chain is quite substantial too. It, it feels it's substantial. It's a huge, it's a huge bag. So just to show you, it has one pocket here. It's all dark, so you can't see. So it has one um, slip pocket here, another small slip pocket here. It has a magnetic closure. On the other side, you will see the other magnetic closure and a zipper closure right here. And it has this one of these. Um, keychain thingy or hook thingy that you can hook to any pouches or keys or whatnot so it's a very simple bag it's all in dark blue color inside um, and you can just close it magnetically i will probably do mostly handheld i tend to i plan to use this bag more like if i'm traveling by car so i don't really need like if i'm by public transit i would probably take a much lighter bag like one of my other totes but if i'm gonna be traveling by car i think this would be fun you know in and out of the car a lot ah oh, i love it it's so cute 
and I will do a more thorough review later because like I always said I am all for light bags this is not light it's not the heaviest but it's not light so we'll see about that and I will do a few modeling shots for you guys enjoyed this unboxing reveal video I'm super psyched to have it I feel so lucky I found I feel like the handbag goddess answered my prayers and of course I was really trying to attract it into my life I was really you know doing my due diligence research calling back stores and trying to find out info about it and I got one of course I'm still really lucky to get one so I'm so glad I have it in my life so hope you guys enjoyed this video again um, if you're new to my channel I hope you subscribe I do upload at least one video every Monday but often bonus videos throughout the week I make lifestyle vlogs I make handbag videos I have favorites I have all kinds of things and um, I also want to do more like uh, fashion styling try on videos so Hopefully you guys will come back to my channel and if you have already been a subscriber for a while, thank you so much and Yeah, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm Amy. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye